How's it going everybody? It's your boy Satoshi coming back at you for another video where today I'm going to be telling you what you need to know about prediction markets. Now I've learned about this through a couple of interesting sources and I'm going to show you which ones they are in today's video. So as always, if you do enjoy it, drop a like and let's just get straight into it. It's a nice little article here on coin market cap and it does cover the basics of, you know, understanding prediction markets the power of blockchain technology itself in these prediction markets. How do these centralized prediction markets actually work? Real world applications and usage and a little wrap up summary of what's going on. Now, I'm also going to talk to you about Polymarket, uh, which is quite an interesting source. We also have Augur and we also have a uh, four protocol over here who has a public sale coming up very soon. But we will discuss that throughout the video. So. Let's get straight into it. The predictions industry is quite interesting and it has been uh, long dominated by centralized entities, right? It relies on a select few experts and institutions to forecast these future events and profit off of them. But what if there's no house? How would that work and what would be the benefits of it? Now, obviously, we are talking about blockchain technology here because that is the true meaning of decentralization and having a uh, decentralized uh, approach to things such as prediction markets and you know also uh, governments for example with DAOs and a lot of these other things that decentralization does help with but I'm not going to talk about that in today's video we are specifically focusing on predictions markets so the question brings us to today's topic of discussion right which is how prediction markets actually work especially when built on the blockchain right it's powered by the people uh, there's no middleman taking big chunks of taxes or profits or fees and, uh, you know, all of these useless tariffs. And with the increased popularity of Web3 and blockchain technology, it is becoming more and more of a market where in this industry, uh, you know, in the prediction markets industry, a lot of companies are trying to venture into the decentralized predictions because it simply offers a hassle free uh, you know, entity, a hassle free community of uh, people who are basically there, uh, you know, as uh, nodes or however you want to call it, decentralization, who are, you know, together forming this entire ecosystem. Now, to better understand prediction markets, you have to understand that at its core, a market is a place where valuable goods or services, whether they're tangible or intangible, are exchanged, right? These prediction markets operate on a similar, pr similar principle. But instead of physical products, there's speculation of what outcome is going to happen in these future events. So, for example, in Polymarket, you're basically betting on uh, what your beliefs are, right? So your belief could be that USDT could depeg by June 30th. Uh, there's four, uh, you know, for yes, there's a, a no, there's, there's a little. So as you can see, uh, you can see exactly how other people voted. And, uh, you know, will the Fed, Fed cut rates in 2023 or all of these other real life events? So that's quite a cool one. But uh, these markets or prediction markets basically provide you a platform to establish uh, your thought on a certain outcome in the future. Right. And until some time ago, these prediction markets has uh, have been covered entirely by centralized entities. Right. Or the house. We all know what the house is. It's the house that takes the rake. It's the house that. Uh, always wins it's the house this house that but what happens if uh, you know we don't have a house to all of these casinos bookmakers ibs insurance companies or exchanges well we lose monopolization which uh, in turn benefits the user right now on the other hand there could be a problem of less or a lack of regulation uh, which, you know, centralized authorities are good at doing, but there could be a form of regulation introduced even in these decentralized ways because, uh, you know, as the people can vote, uh, same as in a DAO, they can vote to have a certain principle on board that would sort of regulate the entire ecosystem. So prediction markets are not broken. They're working exactly as designed, but the problem is with centralized entities. And this is where, uh, you know, the decentralized aspect of it comes in. Blockchain technology obviously powers it all and decentralization can eliminate all of these centralized problems, right? These prediction markets that leverage blockchain tech and decentralized protocols use the wisdom of the crowd and allow everyone and anyone to participate and contribute with their insights. 
For example, this uh, Augur, it's a, a trustless, decentralized Oracle and platform for prediction markets. It only takes 1.5% in form of fees, while other centralized entities take up to 15% of your winnings, right? So this is Augur, you can check it out. I'm, I will leave the link in the description below. But things get even more interesting where for protocol, a blockchain powered predictions market is the first truly decentralized platform that is entirely powered by its users, enabling the creation of an endless array of possible prediction markets. Or Polymarket, for example, which I showed you, where you can literally bet on the Greek election, right, in multiple different markets uh, where, uh, or, you know, interest rates or, you know, Trump or box office openings or pretty much anything out there. You know, you can see trending stuff, new stuff or whatnot. So it's quite interesting and it doesn't stop at the usual topics because, for example, this four protocol it gives you the opportunity of betting against any event out there. So as you can see right here, the token will be live on the 30th of June. And if you want to participate, the link will be linked in the description below. Four does have a public sale, which you can see a little bit more about this right here. And uh, in general, what these guys do are uh, they employ this blockchain tech into the predictions market, right? It's a people powered predictions uh, algorithm software or community or establishment or, or how I'm trying to find the right word ecosystem where you can create predict and validate any market on a real world event so imagine you have an event that you want to create and see what people are going to say and see how they're going to react and create a pool well you can do so it's all blockchain it is all peer-to-peer -peer. it is powered by non-fungible tokens as well and if you want to learn more I will leave the description down below so it's quite interesting and this is how it works, right? You have the creators, you have the players, and you have the analysts. The creators are users that create engaging and distinctive prediction markets. Players are protocol participants who take a position in any market on the protocol. And analysts are users responsible for validating a market's outcome. They are rewarded a share of 2% of the market size. Uh, for is also designed to help these market participants gain access to more liquid, decentralized and varied markets on any real world event. And also you have the encourage activity on the protocol, protocol where creators are incentivized by 0.5% of the total market size. So you have the creation phase, participation phase, verification phase and dispute phase. And after that, you have re resolutions where, you know, you could be refunded or you could claim your reward. So this is for it's quite interesting. Uh, we also have Augur and Polymarket. It's a, an interesting tackle of the solution or of the problem of these decentralized prediction markets. Now, how do they work? Well, at the core of this decentralized prediction market are smart contracts, right? When we're talking about blockchain, they're self-executing agreements. They determine the rules and the information gets on the blockchain through many different options like Chainlink, for example, which is an Oracle network that feeds real world data into the blockchain. Very simple. Now, there's other types of trans transmitting this info into these prediction markets, where four protocol, for example, has created a decentralized network of validators or analysts, as I just mentioned, that are there to perform the role of an Oracle, making it even more de decentralized because you're not giving your uh, platform to Chainlink and you're not relying to a third party once again to make your decision. So it's literally even more decentralized than Augur or any of these others that I've talked about. Now, real world applications of these uh, uh, prediction markets. Well, you can see for protocol for the example, as it is easy to understand, and it is the first truly decentralized platform out there. For example, and this is just an example I'm gonna give you before I end this video. Imagine you bet $50 on Bayern Munich to win the league and they won but the betting site gave you some of the worst odds on top of the already high fees. On 4 Protocol, there's no house and the odds are determined by the users themselves. So you could have won more on the same bet due to better odds and incredibly low fees. So it's an instant win-win for you because you do get a larger reward for the same proportional bet. But that's something that you can find on other centralized prediction markets by odd shopping, right? But it's something that sets decentralized markets, including four protocol far apart. Now, let me give you another example. Imagine you're a passionate astrophysicist who wants to bet $100 on an upcoming cosmic event, but you can't because these traditional markets don't have such a service. Well, in four protocol, you can create a market on this event and bet $100 against any other market participants from around the world without needing to pay a high fee or cut 
of the win to a centralized entity. So that's it uh, when it comes to predictions markets. I'm going to leave the links to four Augur and Polymarket down in the description below. I hope you guys take a look. It is quite interesting. And combining these prediction markets with blockchain technology can benefit us by leveraging transparency, decentralization and security of the blockchain. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below with your favorite thoughts and opinions. And lastly, I'm not a financial advisor and you should do your own due diligence before investing to anything in the blockchain world. So see you guys in the next video.